Hey guys, Alexander here, and in this video we will be covering the matrix form of the simple linear regression model. Now, in many introductory econometrics courses that you will encounter in your studies, you will often see the scalar form of the simple linear regression model introduced. This is the form that is that resembles this. Yi is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 xi plus our error term epsilon i. This is known as the scalar form. The form that we are interested for the purpose of this video is the matrix form, where we have a vector of your dependent variables, all your y's. y is equal to a matrix x, which is your design matrix, multiplied by beta, which is all the slope coefficients. And we need to remember epsilon, the vector of the error terms. This y is simply a vector of y1, y2, to yn. These are all the responses or all the dependent variables. There are n of them. It is an n by one vector. X is known as our design matrix. And it, it's always written as the form with the first column, n1s, so there are n ones in this first column, and the second column contains them x1, x2, x3, up to xn. All the independent variables in our regression model. And then we add this to the, the vector epsilon, which is the vector of our error terms. So this is epsilon 1, epsilon 2, all the way up to epsilon n. So this is the formulation of the simple linear regression model in the matrix form. For the simple linear regression model, we are usually interested in finding the slope coefficient, the ordinary least square estimators for our slope coefficients. So this vector beta is in fact a vector containing beta 0 and beta 1. Because we're dealing with the simple linear regression model, we're dealing with beta 0 and beta 1. And these are what we are interested in obtaining or estimating. So the formula for the estimates of these ordinary least square estimators are beta hat is equal to x transpose times x and the inverse of this times x transpose y. This is a very important formula. I recommend that you memorize it. x transpose x inverse is a symmetric matrix. That means if I take its transpose, it, it looks the same. You swap the rows with the columns, the, the matrix that you're carrying that operation on still looks the same. Now, why is that the case? Let's have a look. X is the design matrix. It's simply a vector of ones, of n ones, and then x1, x2, all the way up to xn. This means that x transpose, if we swap the rows for the columns, simply going to look like this. So x transpose x is what we're interested in. The first. x transpose x is equal to, so we can see that this, this matrix x transpose has two rows and n columns. So it's a two by n matrix. And the matrix x is an n by two matrix. So since the dimensions co uh, correspond in the manner that allows us to go carry out matrix multiplication on the two, we know that x transpose x it's going to be a two by two matrix. So let's go and work out what X transpose X is actually equal to. So the first, so we go row times column. Row one, column one, the product of them, it's simply one plus one for N times. So that's going to be N. This is the number of results or observations in our actual data. So this is the number of observations. So if you're only given this uh, matrix x transpose x you can always go and work out n and you you can do that by simply looking at the first entry the one one entry of the matrix x transpose x that will give you the number of observations in your data this entry over here row one column two that corresponds to the product of this row and this column since it's all ones multiplied by x1 x plus x2 plus x3 up all the way up to xn. This is simply the summation of xi from i is equal to 1 to n. And this, this can be conveniently rewritten as n times x bar. 
So if you're only given x transpose x, and you need to work out the mean, well, then you know that you need to take this result, this uh, row, row 1, column 2's result, and simply divide that by n, then you're back to x bar. But always remember, the first row and the second column of the matrix x transpose x, or the, in the simple linear regression model case, is always going to be the summation of xi or n x bar. The second row in the first column over here, well, we can clearly see that this is simply all the x's times uh, 1 and added together. So that's also still summation of xi from i is equal to 1 to n. And lastly, what we're left with is the product of each of these xi's with itself and the summation of all of them. So that's simply the summation from i is equal to 1 to n of xi squared. So it's x1 squared plus x2 squared all the way added up to plus xn squared. So that's the matrix x transpose x. This matrix is clearly symmetrical. Let's go have a look at x transpose x inverse. So for the simple linear regression model, uh, x transpose x is a two by two matrix in the simple linear regression case. x transpose x inverse is going to be given by this following formula. It's one over the determinant of x transpose x, multiplied by, we swap the diagonal, the first diagonals values, it's the summation of xi squared and n, and then we add negative signs to the other two values. So it's going to be negative n x bar and negative n x bar over here, or negative the summation of xi. What's the determinant of x transpose x? Well, let's work that out quickly. So the determinant of x transpose x is simply going to be equal to n times the summation from i is 1 to n of xi squared minus the second diagonal, the product of these two, negative, the summation of xi times the summation of xi. And this can be simplified to n times the summation of xi squared minus the square of the summation of xi. And it's very important. The product of the summation of xi with the summation of xi is the square of the summation of xi. It's not the summation of xi squared. So this can be further simplified to the summation of xi squared. And as stated previously, the summation of xi is simply n x bar. So this is negative n squared x bar squared by using this substitution right here. So that's n squared x bar squared. So let's factorize this. Let's factor the n out. So it's n times the summation of xi squared, negative n x bar squared. And this result should look quite familiar to you because in the previous video of deriving the OLS, OLS estimators, I um, taught you what this, this expression actually evaluates to. And this is simply the summation of the sum of squares of x, so it's sxx, or the sum of squared of x, so it's summation of xi minus x bar squared. So this whole determinant of x transpose x is simply equal to n times the summation of xi minus x bar squared, which is a very neat and convenient result. So then we can go further simplify x transpose x inverse, and we see that this is equal to 1 over n of sxx multiplied by the summation of xi squared, negative nx bar in this entry, negative nx bar, and n over here. So this is what x transpose x inverse actually is in terms of the summation of xi squared and x bar and the sum of squares. Of, so x transpose y is going to look like this. And y is simply a vector of all the individual observations, y1, y2, y3, all the way up to yn. So this is a two rows, n columns by n by 1. That's going to be a two by one matrix, so two rows and one column. And if we multiply these matrices out, we see it's a vector of ones multiplied by y. So it's simply 
the summation of y pi. So it's y1 plus y2 plus y3 up all the way up to yn. It's the summation of yi, which is also the same as ny bar. And this over here is x1 times y1 plus x2 times y2 plus x3 times y3. And that's the summation of xi, yi. And all of these summations, of course, are from i equals 1 all the way up to n. So what I wanted to focus on and show and highlight to you in this video is the fact that the matrix x transpose y and x transpose x these two matrices are very helpful for you in uh, deriving results quickly for the estimators or carrying out calculations for your simple linear regression model. And if you have to do this by hand in your tests, as you most likely will, it can be quite tedious and that you need to have some shortcuts at hand to make life easy for yourself. So always remember, x transpose x equal to n, the summation of xi, summation of xi and the summation of xi squared. It's a symmetrical matrix and if you need, if you're only given x transpose x and x transpose y, then you can go work out various results very easily and very quickly from them. So for example, if I'm only given these and I, I ask you what is x bar, what is y bar, then you can simply use these results over here. These three values will give you everything you need. N gives you all of the number of observations. This is your number of observations. The summation of xi is the same as nx bar. Summation of yi is the same as ny bar. So if you have n and nx bar, then you can easily work out x bar. You can easily work out y bar.